Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install packages and wrap files on RPCS3, which is a PS3 emulator, if you don't know. I'm sure you do if you're already here. And I just want to say this video does not condone piracy. It is for educational purposes only. And you should always have, you know, legally obtain the games that you'll be installing. But if you have like a, you know, a conventional game or like the PS3 game folder, you know, you can usually just, you know, go to file, uh, you know, like add game or like open. And I'll have, I have a game, uh, external drive, ROMs, PS3, this one right here. And he has these packages in next data folder, click open. If you're seeing this, like booting failed, no bootable content was found, then no problem at all. It's really easy to fix. You wanna to go to file. And also, by the way, I'm doing this on Mac, but the process is exactly the same whether you're on Mac, Linux, or Windows. You wanna to go to install packages, wraps, and edats. Go to that folder that you, know, you have your files in. So packages, and there'll be a PKG. Click open and you'll just confirm what it is. Do you want to install it? Click yes. This is Angry Birds Star Wars. I've chosen this game because this is very quick to install. As you can see, it's already done. It gives me some options. If you, this is a slightly older version of RPCS3, if you have a new version, there'll be like, you know, compile PPU, you know, modules as well. So, you know, feel free to go, go and, you know, check that as you normally would. Obviously, if you want to add shortcuts, feel free to. Here's the game. If I double click it now, uh, I want to make sure. I want to actually just. I want to make sure of one thing, that. Mm, let me go to that because that was the wrap file. So if I double click this, if you get this now, booting fail. So if you're at this stage already, that's fine. Digital content could not be decrypted. So this is, you know, obviously for digital content that has encryption, not all digital content has encryption. Again, if you've got some digital com content somehow, easy way to find out if it does have encryption is to literally, again, if we go to my ROMs, PS3, this game here, Angry Birds. If you have like a packages and X data, then it's encrypted. And you know, obviously if you're trying to run it and it's giving that error, then it's encrypted. You can manually copy that wrap file over, but honestly, you just go to file, install packages option, go to X data, and here we go, dot wrap. Don't want to rename this stuff, you want to leave it as it is. Click open, and now, we can launch our game. My game just launched very quickly because I'd already installed it, already you know done a lot of the PPU module compilation. So if your game is taking longer and some games take longer than others, don't worry, that happens. I'm gonna close it now. Just a couple of things to note. If you wanna uninstall the game, you right click, you go to remove, remove, remove HDD game, go through that process. Another thing to note is if I go to the open install folder, this has a particular directory where it installs your games. If it's like a, you know, PKG, it stores data there anyway for your other games, but it won't be as much data because it's not installing those other games, you know, if it's not digital content. So this is just gonna be on your regular, you know, sort of, you know, hard drive wherever your, RPCS3 is set up. Uh, so if you like to have it separate, like on an external hard drive or SD card, maybe you've got like a Steam Deck or ROG Alloy X or something like that, then you want to make sure that you get non digital game. But this is for those people that are running into this error or errors, and this is how to fix it. It's really simple. Just go and know the correct options. So that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other RPCS3 and emulation content you would like to see next. See ya. Bye.